Hello everyone, I am Nick, a master's student at MIT and a member of MIT Motorsports. MIT Motorsports has partnered with KX over the last three years to create a high quality motorsports telemetry system visualized with KX dashboards. Before we begin, I'll give you a quick summary of what we do at MIT Motorsports. We're a student team of 50 MIT undergraduates that work hard to design and build a high-performance electric race car every year. We create the majority of the components on our car, from making custom carbon fiber wings to soldering our PCBs and writing embedded software for them. Although one of the main reasons we do this is because it's fun, our goal is to succeed in the Formula SAE Electric Collegiate Design Series competition where we compete against other universities on several disciplines. The most exciting one is the endurance race, a, 20, a long 22 kilometer race on a tight racetrack featuring corners, hairpins, slaloms, and passing zones. I should also mention that this car is no joke. The acceleration is on par with that of a Bugatti Veyron or a Porsche Taycan. The car is packed with sensors, some of which we will talk about later. The 30 minutes of the endurance race are the most crucial moments of the whole competition. This is why we need to make sure everything is going right. Part of this success comes from a reliable telemetry system that manages several data streams, including the sensors we're going to talk about and competitor lap times. Real-time analytics algorithms use this data to assist our team's race support crew in making decisions. With visualizations and well-placed analytics markers, the crew can make informed decisions about our race strategy and inform the driver about new vehicle settings and driving behavior. Such a subsystem is not straightforward to operate. During our testing days, we operate outdoors out the back of a trailer. On competition day, conditions are even harder, often with extreme heat and no tables and outlets to set up shop. For this reason, we need a portable solution that works well on the field. We find that typically more than a couple of people are interested in viewing the visualizations. However, due to a lack of space and big monitors, the crew used to have to huddle around one laptop screen. Thus, we require that we can use multiple devices to view the visualizations to make it easier for different crew members to get the data that they need to see. Finally, last season, we sought to integrate our competitor analysis with our telemetry platform, such that we can compare performance and make real-time points calculations based on our performance relative to our competitors. This meant moving away from taking down lap times on pieces of paper and bringing them into the database in real time. Since there are several cars out on the track at a given time, each spotter from the crew is assigned a single one and we would like them to input this data individually directly into the KDB database. We were lucky because Dashboards meets all of our requirements. It runs on any architecture KDB Plus is available, including the Raspberry Pi and mobile computer. And because it's web-based, we can host it on a local network and view the dashboards from several devices simultaneously. Finally, extending on this, we can open certain dashboards on mobile devices and they can adapt to the smaller screen size. As I mentioned, KDB Plus runs on the Raspberry Pi, which is a small and mobile single board computer that we can power from a battery. We want to wire it up to a wireless access point so that we can form a local network over Wi-Fi. That way, all we need to do to get dashboards is turn on the Raspberry Pi telemetry station, connect our device, such as a laptop, to the Wi-Fi, and then navigate to the dashboard's URL. To the left, you'll see one of our early prototypes, where we crammed all this hardware in a very small box. 
The next step is to create holes for the antenna so that we can close the lid and make the box waterproof and robust. Before we have a look at the dashboards themselves, let's have an overview of the data streams we'll be working with. We have battery data that is essentially voltages and currents coming from many different cells and some of it is high frequency and it's important that we receive it in high frequency for analytics purposes. We have temperatures coming from the battery. We have our uh, the vehicle position uh, on our navigation system and vehicle control unit state machine updates, driver input such as button presses, as well as important system errors that will also be coming through. Finally, we have competitor lap times from our mobile data entry platform. And this system has worked reliably for more than 30 minutes of continuous data at these high refresh rates. Here you will see an example, uh, one of our initial data visualization platforms that we used in our 2018 competition at Formula SAE Electric. On the top left, you'll see that we're able to visualize the cell voltage and battery pack voltage data. On the bottom left, we're visualizing the temperatures. On the top right, we are visualizing the vehicle's position. Finally, on the bottom right, we are visualizing one of our real-time analytics outputs, which is the energy consumed calculation. This serves as an example for our bare minimum use case for motorsports telemetry. As we talked about earlier, we also want crew members to input competitor lap times directly into our analytics database. We chose to do this by recording the time of the button press and running a query to insert it into a KDB plus table. Then that table can be accessed by the telemetry dashboard to visualize the times and output the analytics. To get the button press to perform a query, we use simple combinations of view states and an action that simultaneously pushed the data and updated the local views. The design of the user interface was done in the same drag and drop builder that the regular dashboards use, and it displays responsively on mobile without too many tweaks on our end. And because this is all web-based, it allows us to prototype new interfaces at a rapid pace. We make adjustments on the computer, hit the refresh button on the phone, and the updated dashboard appears instantly. It's so simple. Here's a sneak peek of the latest version of our telemetry dashboard. On the bottom right, you will see some of our analytics, including state of charge and remaining lap capacity calculations. On the top right, you will see a video playback of the race, on the top left, you will see a top-down view of the racetrack. In the middle, you will see our own lap times as well as those of one of our competitors. And on the bottom left, you will see battery data similar to what we looked at in the previous example. To summarize, you heard about the collaboration between KX and MIT Motorsports to deploy dashboards for a racing motorsports use case. Some of the new things we did to bring dashboards to the field include hosting it out of a waterproof box on a Raspberry Pi and broadcasting to a local Wi-Fi network, creating layouts for dashboards to be used on mobile, and using actions and queries to enter data into the database as opposed to only visualizing existing data. To make it all look good, we took advantage of the latest dashboards release features that brought new views such as the track map and the video playback, which we are also working to make real time. Overall, the key insights from our experience is that dashboards is invaluable for rapid prototyping and development with minimal to no code required to create new visualizations. It allows for super simple execution of any query, letting us take data out of the database 
or create and insert data back into it. And finally, with the right technology, all of this can be deployed anywhere you can take a computer.